This shows a leaking choke line connection on a drilling riser in the Gulf of Mexico. The riser length was 5,700 feet and the leak was located at 4,700 feet. Here, dye can clearly be seen exiting from both the top and bottom of the choke line connection at a measured rate of 8.5 gallons per minute. Two and a half barrels of pressure activated sealant were blended and displaced to the leak site with seawater. Once the sealant was in position, the choke valve was closed and the sealant was squeezed into the leaking connection. The sealant injection pressure was slowly raised to 2000 psi. As the sealant experienced a pressure differential, it began to repair the leaking seals and the leak rate was significantly reduced. Here, you can see that the upper leak has been repaired and that the remaining leak is from the lower molded seal. Repair of this leak was made more difficult by the severe movement of the risers in the 2.6 knot loop current. Once a low pressure seal was complete, the riser pressure was raised in 500 psi increments. At 3000 psi, and again at 5000 psi, the seal broke and was allowed to reform at a lower pressure before continuing the pressure increases. Experience has shown that this results in a much stronger seal. Once the seal had stabilized, the choke line pressure was raised in steps until a final pressure of 8,000 psi was achieved. This pressure was held for 8 hours, then reduced to 5,000 psi and held for an additional 16 hours. Once this curing period was complete, the remaining sealant was circulated from the choke line. An MMS BOP test was then successfully completed and the riser returned to normal service. This view shows the riser holding the final test pressure of 8,000 psi with no leaks observed. Even with the severe riser movement caused by loop currents, seal tight's pressure activated sealant was able to effectively repair the leak and save the cost and downtime of pulling the riser.